Hey, what is up, guys, and welcome back. So today we're going to be reviewing the Diatone GT548 or GTR548. Now this comes in two flavors. We have the 4S and the 6S version, as in Lipo 4S and as in Lipo 6S. This is the 4S, and it's rocking the Mamba Motors 2207-2650 kV. And um, I was just really curious how well these were going to play out in the field. And to my surprise, they performed really great. Now, if you take even a closer look at the motors, you see that it's it has some of the characteristics of a premium motor here. We have arc magnets, really thin air gaps. The coils also look good. And we have these little plastic pieces to protect the coils from the screw if you ever went too far in. So that's really nice in that perspective. Really smooth. Uh, they do have a little bit of notch, but when you boot them up or when you turn them on, this thing is hella quiet. It's really in insane how how smooth it is. I mean, on low throttle, obviously. When you when you push the throttle, it'll just start screaming. For ESC, they're using the Mamba ESC with the Mamba stack for the flight control, which is an F4. For camera, they're using a proper camera, the Foxio Falcor. Really great quality. I enjoyed the living crap out of the quality. For antenna, they are using the Foxio Lollipop 2, right hand polarized. So it is. All premium components as you can tell the carbon fiber looks somewhat different I'm guessing this is a skin that's on the last layer or something but it, it gives it a really nice um, look I guess if you want to say that so yeah and this frame also takes 20 by 20 and 30 by 30 so if you ever wanted to do something else it does take by 20 by 20 holes here but the current stack inside is 30 by 30 I was really surprised with the motors more than anything or actually how the whole thing just was executed out of the box so I know because I've seen Stu's video earlier and right when I received mine and I was like oh god this is gonna be possibly pretty terrible I'm gonna leave everything default I'm just gonna take it out and to my surprise it was really good so this is I think this is the production model that they have sent me here and uh, if this, yeah, if you're looking for that 3D part, it does come with it. Mine came like this in the box, and I kept it like this so I can mount my GoPro. You do have some camera protection here, but here it's basically, you know, it's, yeah. But it's meant to be for your GoPro here. That's the whole idea. And if you didn't want that, you can just stick this on there and just start racing, I guess. So it is a Stretch X frame, and I'm not really, I'm not a big fan of Stretch X frames because I never really had a good experience, I guess. And now I just had a really great experience, so... I'm giving them a second thought here. And um, the overall flight characteristics, flight performance, default PID, default setup. Um, all I did was just add my modes and my propellers and my receiver and I was just out and flying. So smart port was already connected so you can immediately start changing your VTX power channel, uh, which is really nice to have here. And I added an XM plus as you can tell right there. Now they do provide you with quite a lot. Uh, gem fan props, they give you one set, which I didn't use because I left them in the shop. This I'm not going to use because I needed to get the GoPro footage. I just had this zip tied on the top right here. Uh, you'll, you'll see that in the video, you probably already saw that. And they give you screws and, and just a ton load of screws uh, spares. You can basically build another quad with the amount of screws here. Literally, you can build another quad with the screws here. And they give you a nice, an, another nice uh, battery strap. I really like this battery strap, actually. It was really nice. Um, also, they give you these anti-slip things, which I highly recommend you use. They come like five of them. So I just put two here and one here. You will need them because this is really slippery. Even if you tighten this all the way down, the battery will tend to slip. So this really helps and it just keeps it absolutely secure in that perspective. Overall, the quad performed like a premium quadcopter, uh, possibly even better than some of my built, uh, custom built premium quadcopters, which I found pretty amazing. And I think I'm gonna leave it at that guys. I'll let you guys watch the footage. You guys go decide for yourself. And overall, I really did enjoy it and I would definitely recommend it now. And again, in terms of longevity, I can't answer that for you until I keep flying it and something happens, then I can come back for an update. But currently out of the box, I had an amazing experience, amazing performance. And that's it guys. I'm gonna leave you guys with the footage and please leave a like and a comment down below and also check out the links. Those greatly support the channel guys. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace out. Thank <laughs> you.